Most of Australia has extensive periods of extreme heat and one-tenth of the continent also has significant periods of below freezing weather. Exposure to heat or cold is not confined to the outback or snowfields. The casualty may be the elderly person sitting quietly in a cold room, the homeless person in winter, the casualty in a boating mishap, the lost bushwalker, or even a person exercising in the middle of a hot summer's day. Heat exhaustion is caused by exposure to a hot environment with inadequate intake of fluids or insufficient shade during physical activity. The casualty will develop severe cramps, headache, confusion, poor judgement or coordination as their body temperature rises to 39 degrees Celsius. Rest in a cool, shaded place, position wet towels over the body, give small amounts of water and seek medical aid urgently. Heat stroke is a potentially lethal condition. Fluid levels in the body become so low that sweating stops. This causes the body temperature to rise as it can no longer cool itself. The brain and other vital organs such as the kidneys and heart begin to fail. The person will look hot and red, feel fatigued, complain of a headache, nausea, dizziness and sometimes vomiting. If the body temperature is over 40 degrees, they may collapse. You okay? You guys need some help? Just looks a bit hot. Oh just wow, he's really hot. Hot, but he's not sweating. How long have you been riding for? Oh, a couple of hours, a few hours. A couple of hours, but, but he's not sweating. Oh God, have, have you been fine? I don't, yeah. yeah. We need to call an ambulance. Those most at risk of heat stroke are right, infants, mate. the elderly yeah, and we, sick, we an or those who exercise or work outside in hot weather. In managing heat stroke, move the casualty to a cool place and remove excess clothing. Assist them to lie down if conscious and cover with a wet sheet or blanket. Fan to increase the cooling process. Ice packs or cold packs can be applied to the neck, armpits and groin to cool blood in the large blood vessels. Give cold fluids if fully conscious. Overexposure to cold is also a progressive condition. When the body temperature falls to 35 degrees or below, this state is called hypothermia. Remove the person from the cold environment, ensure the casualty is dry and gradually rewarmed. Severe shivering will occur at a body temperature of 35 degrees. Severe hypothermia develops at 33 degrees. At 32 degrees, shivering actually stops. At 28 degrees, if the heart is irritated, it may beat irregularly. At 20 degrees, the heart will stop. <laughs>